A Wrong Man in Worker's Paradise Written by Rabindranath Tagore The man had never believed in mere utility. Having had no useful work, he indulged in mad whims. He made little pieces of sculpture, men, women and castles. Quaint earthen things dotted over with seashells. He painted. Thus, he wasted his time on all that was useless, needless. People laughed at him. At times, he owed to shake off his whims, but they lingered in his mind. Some boys seldom ply their books and yet pass their tests. A similar thing happened to this man. He spent his earth life in useless work and yet after his death, the gates of heaven opened wide for him. But the moving finger writes in heaven. So, it came to pass that the aerial messenger who took charge of the man made a mistake and found him a place in workers' paradise. In this paradise, you find everything except leisure. Here men say, God, we haven't a moment to spare. Women whisper, let's move on. Time is a-flying. All exclaim, time is precious. We have our hands full. We make use of every single minute. They shy complainingly, and yet those words make them happy and exhilarating. But this newcomer, who had passed all his life on earth without doing a scrap of useful work, did not fit in with the scheme of things in workers' paradise. He lounged in the streets, absently jostled the hurrying men. He lay down in the green meadows or close to the fast-flowing streams and was taken to task by busy farmers. He was always in the way of others. A bustling girl went every day to a silent torrent. Silent, since in the workers' paradise even a torrent wouldn't waste its energy singing to fill her pictures. The girl's movement on the road was like the rapid movement of a skilled hand on the strings of a guitar. Her hair was carelessly done, in costume, wisps peeped often over her forehead to peer at the dark wonder of her eye. The idler was standing by the stream as a princess sees a lonely beggar and is filled with pity. So the busy girl of heaven saw this one and was filled with pity. Hey, huh? She cried with concern. You have no work in hand, have you? The man shied. Work? I have not a moment to spare for work. The girl did not understand his words and said, I shall spare some work for you to do, if you like. The man replied, Girl of the silent torrent, all this time I have been waiting to take some work from your hands. What kind of work would you like? Will you give me one of your pictures, one that you can spare? She asked, A picture? You want to draw water from the torrent? No, I shall draw pictures on your picture. The girl was annoyed. Pictures, indeed. I have no time to waste on such as you. I am going. And she walked away. But how could a busy person get the better of one who had nothing to do? Every day they met 
and every day he said to her girl of the silent torrent give me one of your clay pictures i shall draw pictures on it she yielded at last she gave him one of her pictures the man started painting he drew line after line he put color after color when he had completed his work the girl held up the picture and stared at its sides her eyes puzzled brows drawn she asked what do they mean all those lines and colors what is their purpose the man laughed nothing a picture may have no meaning and serve no purpose the girl went away with her picture at home away from prying eyes she held it in the light turned it round and round and scanned the painting from all angles at night she moved out of bed lighted a lamp and scanned it again in silence for the first time in her life she had seen something that had no meaning and no purpose at all when she set out for the torrent the next day her hurrying feet were a little less hurried than before for a new sense seemed to have awakened in her a sense that seemed to have no meaning and no purpose at all she saw the painter standing by the torrent and asked in confusion what do you want of me only some work from your hands what kind of work would you like let me make a colored ribbon for your hair he answered and what for nothing ribbons were made bright with colors the busy girl of workers paradise had now to spend a lot of time every day tying the colored ribbon around her hair the minutes slipped by unutilized much work was left unfinished in workers paradise work had of late begun to suffer many persons who had been active before were now idle wasting their precious time on useless things such as painting and sculpture the elders became anxious a meeting was called all agreed that such a state of affairs had so far been unknowing in the history of workers paradise the aerial messenger hurried in bowed before the elders and made a confession i brought a wrong man into this paradise he said it is all because of him the man was summoned as he came the elders saw his fantastic dress his quaint brushes his paints and they knew at once that he was not the right sort for workers paradise stiffly the president said this is no place for the like of you you must leave the man sighed in relief and gathered up his brush and paints but as he was about to go the girl of silent torrent came up tripping and cried wait a moment i shall come with you the elders gaps in surprise and never before had a thing like this happened in workers paradise a thing that had no meaning and no purpose at all